What's going on people, it's GTB. We back again to save some of your lives, you know what I'm saying? Let's go. What we're gonna be tackling right now is basically, so let's say we have this video, so Apex Pathfinder win is what I've called it, yeah? So the export settings I've shown you guys before in some other videos is using H.264 as the encoder at a resolution of 2560 to 1440, frame rate 60 frames per second and maximum bit rate. And now, Filmora has made an update where they've added an extra layer, they've added export color space. So this is where I got confused because I was like, hmm, I don't want standard definition, but HDR sounds like it's to do with like 4K or something like that. What I'm going to do right now, I'm going to export all three. So we're going to export SDR, HDR HLG and HDR PQ. And we're going to see the difference. So we've just exported the first one. So that's the SDR we're using our normal settings that we would normally use. And look, it's not crisp. This part's usually fine. I'd usually export my gameplay and then it's good quality until I actually upload it to YouTube. That was the issue beforehand. Now the issue is as soon as I export, I'm losing quality. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So we're going to open up the HLG one. Look at this already, man. This looks like shit. This, you can't even use this. It's not usable footage. And as you can see, the brightness is just crazy. So HLG, that's written off. Then we've got the PQ one. It's less so, but it's still just dookie, innit? Like, it just looks... Doesn't look right. And here's the other three settings. So these are my settings in the middle. How uh, I've got them refined a bit, yeah? On the right, we got PQ. On the left, we got SDR. Yeah, so just standard. So standard normal. If we zoom in all the way, we're going to zoom into 555. Get on the low bar. We're going to have the bottom of the aim, like here. All of these will go down to 555. Just looking about on point here. Then we'll do the same for the third one. So as you can see, this is a long distance aim in and it's obviously after exporting and it's obviously a game which includes movement and the frames wouldn't be noticeably blurry kind of thing except for PQ <laughs> it would come out as a good quality using the normal settings but from here you can see on the left color is pretty much similar in the left in the middle left slightly duller and also as you can see on the character it's just more blurred more blurred and pixelated you can't really see much same with on the right it's blurred pixelated but just too bright too saturated you get me here the colors nice you've got good shadow detail you know what i'm saying it's not too dull in comparison to the left but it's still not too bright in comparison to the right more uh figure detail you can actually see her head make out her arm make out a little thing on her belt but then if you zoom out let's just get the 100 percent image and we'll see each of them at 100 percent because if for example they're watching the left screen you can't really see this low bar or past this zip line it gets blurrier and blurrier but on the right here you can see past it stays pretty in focus all the way to the back on the right hand side the focus is not the issue it's quite in focus everywhere it's just too bright and obviously too saturated so you can't use pq and we can do a close-up comparison looking at these yellow lines at look at this the one above the grapple yeah so this one 611 611 you see what i'm saying that is evident it's evident that that's a bit more blurry on the left and it's only slight like that's the thing because what Filmora has done with their new update is trying to make the file size smaller but give you still optimal settings so they're trying to make it look crisp but they're trying to make it so that you have a smaller file which makes it look slightly less crisp than it normally would look okay i'm going to show you my settings on how to make your Filmora files look much better after exporting these are the best export settings for 2022 after this new update if you're still watching right now, make sure you drop a little like and a sub for your boy, you know what I'm saying? Come on, help a brother out if I'm helping you out. Return the favour, you know what I'm saying? So basically, what I do different now is, so I've got the, the same file up. Obviously, you highlight it all, you go to export. But before you go to export, you want to go to this little screen under your little preview right here. You want to click that and you want to press change project aspect ratio. Once you click that, it brings up this little table. The resolution needs to be whatever size your recording is, obviously. And in the frame rate, obviously the same frame rate as your recording. If you have 30 frames in your recording, use 30. 50, use 50. 60, use 60, all right? And then color space, you want to change this from SDR to HDR PQ. And you're going to be thinking, wait a minute. You said the PQ weren't good, but hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. You need to see this. I was playing around with this for a while. And so now I actually know this definitely works. All you want to change is the color space to HDR PQ yeah so you're done on that little bit now now you click the little export button so right now you want to click on settings you want to make sure your resolutions obviously 2560 by 1440 if you do not know why just watch this video just above you want your frame rate to be 60 fps so here is where it changes a little bit yeah you want your encoder to be mpeg4 so mpeg yeah you want maximum bitrate for mpeg which is 80k and then it, it locks your export color space so you can't choose any i think it locks it straight to sdr so the actual project is in pq but you lock it to sdr by using mpg when we go straight to mpeg press ok 
and export that shit. And by the time that exports, it'll be a bigger file size than doing an MP4 video because the MP4 videos are trying to make smaller file sizes. But they haven't implemented the change into MPEG. So you want to make an MPEG video instead of MP4 video because MPEG using these settings is currently providing better clarity and better quality in the exported file in comparison to MP4. There we go. If you've been using Filmora, you've been trying to look for a solution, you ain't been able to find one, there you go. Hopefully that helped you out. If that did help you out, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and yeah, man, peace out.